Hello, welcome everybody to the uh, Thursday, June 1st, 2023, 10 a.m. Uh, Seneca County Commissioner meeting. Uh, we're going to, if you would, please stand with me and do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Got it. Good night. Good. Yes, sir. Please bow. Dear Lord, please help to guide us as we go to discuss county business and issues facing our constituents. Please help us to make the best decision possible to help our residents uh, thrive and uh, flourish. Uh, also, asking for a special prayer to watch over uh, Commissioner Paradiso and Deanne as they uh, uh, got uh, to the hospital last night. And please uh, give your healing hand to help them heal. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, roll call. Commissioner Schuff? Here. Commissioner Franker? Here. All right, minutes. I will accept a motion here to approve the digital audio video recording for the previous board session from Tuesday, May 30th, 2023. So move. Second. Commissioner Franker? Yes. Commissioner Schuff? Yes. All right. Got a few minutes here, but we could probably go on early here. So we have some appointments. Um, let's see here. At 10.05, Linda, do you mind going on a few minutes early? Oh, no. Good. Is that okay? All I'm right. Sorry, okay. How long do I have? Um, you've got <laughs> is, is five minutes, 10 minutes good enough for you? No, that's plenty. Just enough. All right. We have a guest here, Linda Guerrero, is here for the uh, Alzheimer's Walk. And uh, if you like, you can stay there or you can come up here to the corner here and uh, talk into the camera. Okay. Ready to go? Mm -hmm. yep, ready for you. Yep. Come on up. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So, I also brought with me Melanie Birch. She's from Good Shepherd Home, the communications, communications director, and uh, we are part of the Alzheimer's committee here. So, my name is Linda Gutierrez. I'm with Ohio Living Hospice and Palliative Care, but we are part of the committee for the um, Seneca County Alzheimer's Association. And this year, we were trying to get above what they are usually racing um, as far as funds. So, we're trying to make it a little bigger. So we thought we'd incorporate uh, Paint the County Purple. It's a program that has worked out up in the Sandusky area. And we were thinking of kicking that off along with the Heritage um, Festival that happens in September. So we're thinking maybe somehow uh, in involving with that and mixing it together. So we don't know what it looks like yet because this will be the first time that we try it. But, um, you know, look forward to that. And then we're also looking for people to do sponsorships, um, donations of any sort. If you'd like to have a team, you are able to get a hold of us and we'll give you information on that. Um, and for the Paint the County Purple, we're going to be doing special things. So we'll be trying to look into, see, um, about maybe pur putting some purple ribbons in, you know, the post down the downtown. Um, all the businesses will have an opportunity to come up with ideas on how to incorporate that and so making the whole county and by that means Seneca County. Um, but we're mainly looking also for uh, donations of gift baskets, uh, gift cards, anything like that and sponsorships, uh, opportunities. So of course the, you know, the larger amounts of money that we have, the better we will be able to get to our goal. So if you guys um, are looking to partner with us or if you know anybody who would like to be uh, part of this or interested just get a hold of Melanie or I and um, we'll be able to let you know how we can communicate that and the rest of our team there's several people that are here in Tiffin as well. So. Hey Jimmy is that something we might be able to share the message with on our social media yeah, just kind of get the word out or help him? Yep. Yeah. And if, I was saying you might want to because I'm not sure what the Heritage Festival maybe go to a meeting there first kind of get I, more or lesser blessing or whatever to kind of yes. unilaterally work. Yes. Yeah, if you've been there yet, or is that on your schedule? No, okay. uh, I'm looking today for resources on sure. who I would speak to about that, and then who mans the you know downtown who would be able to approve that? Yes, you can put ribbons on every you know pole or whatever. Um, city administrator. City, yeah. Okay. So we, we can get you, we can get you that contact as well. So, or, yeah. 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 So that's why we. Yeah, I can work with you. We've, yes. we've talked. It's good yeah. to see you again. So yeah. that's why we uh, wanted to come in here today and just try to open more doors and uh, facilitate our needs to incorporate the paint the county purple, and we were trying to piggyback off of that, but we weren't sure exactly how it works. So. That's what nope, we that's thought. That could be a, you know, um, the walk is September 30th, 
and um, like I said, we are trying to go above our uh, last year's funds that we raised. So we have some information with us today, so we can hand out. Yeah, if, you, if you can leave some with us, that'd yep. be fantastic. Okay. So. Awesome. Yep. So that's what I'm asking everybody to get involved one way or another. So, and if you know anyone who has been affected by the disease or has had a loved one, a mom, a dad, a sister, because you know nowadays you get Alzheimer's when you're younger, we're looking for somebody to be the feature speaker for that day. So somebody just to tell their story, how it affected them, and then you know also sometimes when you do have that loved one, sometimes they do some of the most amazing things that. You just have this special story to tell. If you want that opportunity, let us know. Great. And I'm sure that, uh, you know, the way to work in with, you know, the Heritage Festival yes. helping, and I mean, you've got extra hands around too. I mean, I'm sure they appreciate that and anyway, get the message out and stuff on that. So, no, yes. that's great. We'll be glad to work with you. So. Is it Commissioner Paradiso who serves on the committee? It's so, maybe yes. we can pass along to him to maybe bring that up at the next meeting. Yep. So exactly. And then we'll get in. If we can get her maybe the next meeting, then you guys can go yeah. there too and kind of do just like you did a little presentation to see if there's yes. a unilateral you know, way to work together on that. Yes. Good. Good. I appreciate that. Thank Great. you. Guys. Thank you for being here and all you do. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. At 10 10, we have Bob Kurtz from Safe Built. He's here. Bob here? Yep, he's here. You can probably. All online? No, he's right here. Where? That's Lee. That's Lee. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hey. I'm sorry. That's all. I'm sorry. We get, we have a few minutes yet here. Um, I guess we'll uh, we got four or five minutes here. I'm covering for Commissioner Paradiso today, as I said before, he is out, so um, taking over the uh, president's role. But we can go into commissioner's reports. Uh, Commissioner Franker. Yes. Uh, so it's. Uh, uh, Last, uh, let's see, I gotta think of all the stuff. I didn't get a chance to write it down with uh, everything going on this morning. So we had uh, uh, participated in a parade on Monday, the Memorial Day Parade. Uh, Commissioner Chef and Perry DCLI and our families and stuff were uh, out. Uh, what a great turnout for the parade. It was uh, well done and stuff with it. Uh, and then on Tuesday, I was down at the State House and testified uh, on behalf of the commissioners uh, for the uh, Senate Bill. Uh, 119 kind of for the uh, OSS the uh, landfill uh, changes and stuff that they're proposing down there so uh, a lot of a good turnout down there they had uh, we was the proponent and then they had the opponent testimony too with that so uh, that's kind of what the last few days been doing that and then this morning we had a viewing uh, for uh, coming up here at 10:30 for the hearing for the vacate alley and stuff on that so excited to uh, catch up on all the uh, uh, emails and all that stuff it's Go on. Yeah, we said a commissioner's meeting on Tuesday, so not a lot's happened in the last two days. But um, uh, Commissioner Paradis and I attended uh, the Eagle Scholarship Dinner here just a few days ago. Some really impressive young people here in the community. Um, there was one individual where the kid was going in to work at Webster doing welding four hours before he'd go into class there at the high school, um, top of his class. And then there was another gentleman, uh, another young man who got a scholarship too. Um, he was working as a, as a janitor at the high school, cleaning, helping the janitorial staff out um, after school. He was top of his class. Uh, kind of reminded me of that movie with uh, Matt Damon. What was that, uh, Jimmy? Good Will Hunting. Good Will Hunting, yeah. So some really impressive young people out there, but uh, congrats to them on their scholarships that they got and uh, their college careers as they head forward to that. As Commissioner Franker alluded, he did attend the Memorial Day Parade. Great turnout for that. And then this morning I got to attend a geocaching event that was out at Hedges Boyer Park. That was through Destination Seneca County. Um, I think they have close to 500 uh, geocaches from all over the state and all over the country that come for these different kinds of events. Uh, it's a great tourist attraction. Uh, those people come here and shop at our restaurants, go to our local retailers, stay at the local hotel. So kudos to uh, Marissa and Deb and <coughs> Bryce there at the chamber for uh, drawing people here to the community. And also today at 4 o'clock, we have a ribbon cutting there at the Frost Village for the new deli that is opened. That's at 4 o'clock, so I'll be attending that. Um, it's been a busy week here at the Commissioner's Office. Uh, thank you, Commissioner Franker, for going down there for your testimony and stuff for Senate Bill 119. A um, lot going on here, but like I said, we're kind of missing one of our legs here. So, like I said, a uh, lot going on. That puts us almost to 1010 here. Jimmy, do you see Safe Built online? Can you I do not. Hey, Bob Kurtz. Nope. All right. 
but we'll just put that on uh, hold for now here to see if he jumps on or maybe he's running a little, little late with the traffic going on through town and the construction. Oh, yep. All right, just a reminder, we do at 1030 have a public hearing for the petition to vacate an alley here in Venice Township, but we'll wait for that one. Um, let's go into County Administrator's report. I only have a couple of things. Um, they did open the uh, entrance to the Board of Health uh, yesterday afternoon. Yesterday morning they did a final inspection and opened the parking lot, opened um, the, uh, that new entrance uh, to the Health Department yesterday. Um, and then um, starting Monday, um, they're going to be doing the window cleaning at the JJC. Um, it'll probably take about two days to complete that window cleaning. So okay. that's all I have. Inside and out. Yep. Okay. I can't remember if somebody asked the question or not. Were we able in the future to utilize any of the jail work crew to do stuff like that? They do. Um, I believe they use the work crew um, on the inside at the uh, uh, juvenile probate court. Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else? I have nothing else at this time. Thank you, Barb. Any old business? I do have something. Uh, <clears throat> we're working on, I want to bring it up to public here, on a letter, uh, kind of for the CCAO, kind of a follow-up after uh, Commissioner Perry Diesel's testimony, my testimony and stuff on there, just to kind of uh, listen to some of the opponent uh, uh, testimony down there, too, and just kind of uh, uh, maybe answer a few questions, kind of give a little bit of where we're at, we don't through that process. So uh, Jimmy would be working and I would work on getting that around and stuff on him. We just want to bring it up and uh, I think we sent out a couple, we we'll sent out some drafts and stuff on that. And mm -hmm. uh, we'll get our signs out, we get it on there as soon as possible. So perfect. we want to bring up to that, so. Send your inbox. Thank you for the update. Um, let's go into new business. We well, have a couple of supplemental appropriations. Um, the first one is for um, the ambulance service, EMS, um, for their H HSA contributions in the amount of $5,000. They've had some uh, new hires um, that qualify for the HSA contribution, so it's just a little bit of needed money that they have. Um, and then I also have um, the, cap the, county, the excuse me, <coughs> county capital projects fund for the CSB building. Um, for, in the amount of $25,000, uh, this was a change order um, for the Board of Health project, and then we sh I believe we should be complete with any change orders or anything over there. So, do we know what that was specifically? I think it was architectural work and some designs of things that had to be uh, redesigned over there for whatever reason. I'm not, I don't have it in front of me, that's why. Yeah, once you get in an old building, sometimes there's some surprises that you can't yeah. see from the outside of it. And I think it might be just the extension of the time, amount of time, too, because they have the architect has to be on on the build until it's complete. Gotcha. So it, we had a few extra months there, I think. Got it. <clears throat> Motion. So moved. Second. Mr. Franker? Yes. Mr. Schaff? Yes. And then I'll move on to the resolutions. Um, the first one I have is granting an extension for Republic Town Hall and Opera House uh, for the 2022 facade enhancement program. This um, is due to um, weather, uh, citing weather issues and contractor delays. If this will extend the project deadline uh, completion date for, to December 1st of 2023. Okay. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Mr. Franker? Yes. Commissioner Schaff? Yes. The next resolution I have is um, authorizing the president of the board uh, to sign the fiscal year 2024-2026 DYS subsidy reclaim grant application and all related documentation on behalf of the Seneca County Board of Commissioners and the Seneca County Juvenile Court. Um, I'm going to amend that to say vice president since the president is not available today. Okay. Um, this is uh, just a reclaim grant that the juvenile department uh, applies for every two years. Move for passage of the resolution. I'll second. Any other discussion? Commissioner Franker? Yes. Commissioner Schuff? Yes. The next resolution I have is um, 
appointing members of the re to the revolving loan fund committee for three year terms retroactive to January 1 of 2022. It appears that um, I believe that it was brought to revolving, revolving loan uh, committee that they there was never an appointment of these positions um, as of January 1st, 2022. So that's why we're passing it now. So is that an alternate with all three or all, all on that or what uh, as far as? Um, this is for um, the committee that lists um, people within the community that are on the committee. Okay. So um, they list, um, like Tyler is the, or our commissioner representative is listed. Um, Charlene obviously is on there, United Way director. Um, so they just, uh, it was just brought to Charlene's attention um, at their last board meeting for the revolving loan and they passed, they just passed it in their committee at, on their board meeting so. So moved. Second. Commissioner Franker. Yes. Commissioner Schuff. Yes. Next resolution I have is authorizing the Seneca County Board of Commissioners to enter into a master sales agreement with a timekeeping system for Guard One tracking system on behalf of the Sheriff's Office. Um, so can you get it further? Yeah. Yeah, I have some. I have a, a little bit of information. I believe. Has um, not. It's just like uh, they're they can track time off and track um, where people are um, within their system. I believe is is what it is. Um, I had a sorry. Uh, Sheriff Stevens had a comment in the chat I can read. He just said this is out of the commissary fund and it is for inmate tracking. There you go. For inmate, inmate tracking. Okay. Okay. Cell checks and suicide watches to track that. Okay. Okay. Yep. Thanks, Sheriff. Yeah, thank you. Motion, I'll make a motion to approve the resolution. I'll second the motion. Commissioner Frankert. Yes. <clears throat> Commissioner Schaff. Yes. Next resolution I have is rescinding resolution 2023-95, authorizing, authorizing the memorandum of understanding for the, Ohio, the Old Fort Local School District's resource officer on behalf of the Seneca County Commissioner, or I'm sorry, the Seneca County Sheriff's Office. So move. Second, Commissioner Franker. So I guess a little backstop of that is that they decided to <coughs> go in their own direction with that and not utilize the Correct. service out of the sheriff's they, department. They've already hired a resource officer at the school, so it voids our memorandum of understanding. Yeah, and we've had them that worked on for quite a while. So yeah, a lot exactly. Of time and blood and sweat and stuff on that, but that's you know, their decision, so. Anything else? Nope. Commissioner Frankert? Yes. Commissioner Schuff? Yes. <clears throat> Last resolution I have is authorizing the disposal of unneeded, obsolete, or unfit county owned property. This is a, re a request from um, Mark Zimmerman, our county engineer. He has a couple of trucks that are. Anything to comment on that, Mark? Yeah, so we have been upgrading our fleet as we <laughs> normally do. Uh, we have three pickups and four dumps that we are disposing of. Uh, one dump uh, is completely trash is going to go to the junkyard uh, for scrap. All of everything else will be listed on gov deals uh, for sale. Uh, none of the vehicles are worthy of any other department as far as you know working with another department that may need a vehicle. Um, we got our money's worth out of every one of these. So um, it's just so you're aware and that we are going to be disposing of these. So we always do this first so that when they show up on gov deals, if anyone asks questions, you're aware that we are disposing of vehicles. Thank you for that jump on that. Yep. Knowing the way that you utilize everything, I'm sure you uh, ran till they didn't run anymore. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they barely run anymore. So, but somebody will buy them for sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no doubt about it. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah. 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 Beater trucker out of farm or something. You got like it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so moved. Second, Commissioner Franker. <clears throat> Commissioner Franker? Yes. Commissioner Schuff? Yes. That's all I have as far as resolutions. All right. Somebody walking in, maybe that's uh, Bob. Hey, Bob. Hey, there he How's is. Going? Good, how are you? Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> I didn't interrupt. Yeah. All right, oh, now you tied that up perfect, actually. Um, we had you in the agenda for 1010, but we were guessing that you probably had some of the crazy traffic coming through town and the road work. Um, not to put you on the spot, but we'd like to have you come up and talk if you're ready. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. The timing couldn't have been better. Yeah, for, yeah, and I apologize for being late. Hey, no, you're sorry. And even though Google says it's a 29-minute drive, yeah. it's not. <laughs> <laughs> when you get behind semis coming up uh, 53, uh, no, it's, not, go. it's gonna take you longer. Anyways, my name is Bob Kurtz. I am the building official for the new Seneca County Building Department. Uh, we do um, just commercial and industrial only, uh, so it does not include residential. Uh, but you know, we're here to make a difference, and hopefully, uh, people notice that when. We're going to be more reactive. Um, if you've got questions, we're going to be here to help you. We're going to be here to answer your questions. Um, we're going to move you through the process a lot quicker than I think what you're used to. Um, that's mainly the big difference that I think everybody's going to see. We guarantee a plan review within 10 days. Um, right now, we're averaging about five to six days. Um, it just, you know, things come in spurts, all of a sudden we'll get a bunch of plan reviews submitted, uh, a bunch of plans submitted, and, and so we might be pushing the, the eight, nine days, but on average, we're probably looking about five to six days for a plan review. Um, so you're going to have a response back a lot quicker, and uh, again, we're just here to, you know, try to make things better for you. Looking forward to it. And then you guys, uh, Barb, is going to going to be at the, the CSB building. Yes, correct. And correct. They're also going to be, uh, I can, to give a little, like when they come in a new entrance? When they come in a new entrance, um, it'll be between the, the two <coughs> new entrance doors. Um, there's a there's a doorway on the left-hand side that will be the building uh, permits office. I can okay. take you there after the meeting and yep. show you where yep. exactly where that is. So that um, the only other thing I had, um, the forms you were working on, mm -hmm. Um, are those all up to date? Um, is there a link that we can put on our website yep. to, so that they can get to that information? Yes, okay. and Ashley will be sending that to you today. Okay, perfect. Um, so we'll have that. And yeah, today is our first day, and we're very excited and happy to be here. Um, but yeah, we'll make sure that uh, all of that information is uh, sent to you so we can okay. get on the link. Um, I think the only thing that we'll need to make sure is up and running is credit card payment. Okay. I'm not sure if that's ready to go or not. Okay. Um, I'll check with the treasurer's office on that. Yeah. Because that, that makes it a lot easier too. Um, like I said, I've been saying since our first meeting is probably 95% of all of our applications and submittals are electronic, which really makes things quicker, easier, faster for everybody. Um, we review them electronically, we can issue your, you know, the approvals electronically, get your plans back, stamp plans back electronically. Uh, it just makes things move so fa much faster instead of having to you know, actually ship out drawings and, and wait for them to come back and things like that. Um, and then they can actually, you know, like I said, once the credit card payments are set up, you can go online and make your payment online. Um, and pretty much people never even set foot in the building department office anymore. Um, our other offices are very quiet. I can get a lot of work done, which I don't mind. Yeah, it makes it nice. So a follow-up question would be then, are you planning on at least a day a week, or what is your plan to have somebody in-house just right. in case? Right. Right now, and the fact that a lot of everything, you know, most submittals are done electronically, so we really don't know what to expect as far as how much uh, for traffic business, right, what we're going to have. Right now, what we're going to do is um, we're looking at Tuesdays. Um, we'll be in the office there uh, probably in the afternoon. And then we'll, we'll try that for the first month or two, and we'll see how that goes. And if we need to increase, 
we'll increase if we need to be there 40 hours a week if the business warrants it we'll be there 40 hours a week but it's just in the beginning we need, we need to gauge this to see just how much foot traffic there really is going to be in and out of the building but even if there's uh, nobody in the office um, there'll be phone numbers and emails and you know five days a week eight hours a day if they call that number somebody's going to answer it Great. is there something and uh, not think about that we can put on the door to kind of give their information so that way if somebody does happen to show yeah, up yeah absolutely not there, we'll, we'll get some we'll get something some on the door so that they have a decent or something like that yeah. there. that way yep. uh, they can reach out to somebody on the cell phone yep. email and all that stuff would be fantastic so yep absolutely kind of um, at least have that information Right. Yeah, I know that we got the phone number um, a week or two ago. So business cards are ordered. Um, so once we have the business cards, we'll have them here to be passed out. Uh, we have all the, the contact information. Um, so we'll have that, that. We're just waiting for them to come in. They've been ordered. Barb, is that something where we'll have like the county logo on there, the Seneca County Building Department type thing with our logo? Um, not necessarily. No, I'm probably just there. It's, I mean, there yeah, is, yeah. Um, not necessarily because we're, we're just contracting with them. Yeah, no, so safe though. So yeah, okay. it would be safe though. Um, so, uh, but yeah, I can get something on the door. At least they can get the contact information if no one is in the office. So. And we do have the county logo, and I believe Ashley has incorporated the county logo on our form. Okay, perfect. Oh, great. So it, perfect. It, it, it will say Seneca County. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. Now, yep. does this take into account uh, the city of Faustoria? We're uh, actually working with Faustoria right now. Okay. Um, a week or so ago, I sent the mayor there, um, I want to say uh, maybe three ordinances, sample ordinances okay. that they need to get approved. Okay. And then a copy of the application to the state. Uh, once they get that approved and signed, give them back to me. Um, I have the packet that I'll send down to the Board of Building Standards and then they only meet once a month so it just depends on when, when they can they get it to okay. me and I know that they've already sent their termination notice to um, Wood County, County. Mm -hmm. so that's because they've already sent that termination notice that's kind of where we need to make sure this keeps moving along so that we can get it down there in, in time for the board's one meeting of the month okay. to approve it and then once it's approved then Fostoria will be on board uh, the city of Tiffin is already on board because they are they've always been a sub-department of Seneca County mm -hmm. where Fostoria was not a sub-department that's why we have to get their certification amended through the state um, but yeah we are working on that right now I'm, I'm, I'm personally I'm looking forward to working with you guys working with the predecessor and just knowing the turnaround time I mean it's night and day difference hopefully and I just yeah. uh, anything we do to help you guys let us know just looking forward to yeah so anybody that's in transition now, let's say they've started, they're just going to finish off with Richland then, and do that, and you guys, anything new from this point on is where you guys can take over that? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. So, so verify that. Yeah. Today was the effective date. So anybody that submits an application now, it will go through us. If they submitted an application to Richland County yesterday, it will stay with Richland County through the entire project. Sure. Yep. Now how is that working with Wood County? Is it the same situation? Because I got a phone call this morning from their prosecutor's office and Wood County does not want it to continue any inspections. I know Wood County is, um, I don't want to use the word overwhelmed, but I know that um, they have a lot, you know, they're, they're very busy on the inspection mm -hmm. side. So I think they're looking at this as a way to help them out also. Technically, it's the same process, and it's not that that's because that's our process, mm -hmm. it's because that's the state's process. The state of Ohio says if it started with Wood County, it will finish with Wood County. Uh, having said that, I, I know that Wood County has said that they have, because technically the state also requires a, a minimum of a 60 day termination notice, and that's to give you the 60 days to get everything switched over for a smooth transition. The Wood County has said they have no problem foregoing the 60 day, but as I, as I pointed out to uh, the people of Faustoria, that's great, but it's probably going to take us at least the full 60 days to get the, the certification amended through the state of Ohio to where it actually is Seneca County, where they fall under Seneca, Seneca County Building Department. If the project has started with Wood County, um, you know, I'm, I, 
I'm also not going to sit here and say, you know, nope, nope, that's your project. If Wood County contacts me and says, hey, you know, we've got this inspection over here, it's the final on this building, here's a copy of the plans to look at, is there any way you guys can help? Yeah, we're going to go do it, because we're going to do whatever we can to help. The problem becomes, though, okay, so they just issue a permit for a brand new Dollar General, because we see those going up. Mm -hmm. They've collected all the fees to cover all the expenses. But then they want us to do the inspections. Well, I have to pay the inspectors to go to Wood County to do the inspect or to go to Foster to do the inspections, where Wood County is the one that collected those fees to cover those expenses. That's where they're, you know, <coughs> if it's just an, an occasional inspection here or there, yeah, we're going to help out. But for them to collect the fees to cover the expenses, but then put all the burden on us, that wouldn't be fair. Yeah, right, so, definitely. And that's where, yeah. You know, yeah. Because if I understood it right, so right now there's going to be a 60 day. So Fostoria is still kind of in limbo with Wood County at this point. Then is that they're still in Wood County? Yeah. Um, my understanding is the termination notice that they sent um, with the effective date was July 1st. Okay. And that's why I'm kind of under the gun with Fostoria to make sure that they get those ordinances passed and signed and back to me. Okay. Because I need to have that packet sent down to the state here within the next week or two in order to get on the Board of Building Standards agenda for June. Otherwise, they don't meet again until like the third week in July and we'll be past the effective termination date. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, I need to make sure the false story keeps moving. We'll make some phone calls over there. And, uh, so I know Commissioner Paradis and I went over and talked to their council <laughs> there in false story uh, two or three months ago and yeah, we'll, we'll make some phone calls, try to okay. see if we can get them speed okay. up. Yeah, Jimmy? We just have to do the public, yep, the public hearing. So we yeah. can finish this discussion yep. after that. Sorry about that. Yep. Are you good, Bob? Yep, I'm good. Yep, yeah. good. Thank you very much. Thanks. Yep. Thanks. Thank you for being here. Yep. All right, it's uh, 1031 here. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, public hearing for a petition to vacate an alley in Venice Township. Um, uh, Fisher Frank, are you out there this morning? Yes, yes. Yeah. So, uh, Engineers, everyone and I was out to kind of do the viewing as part of the process of it. And uh, a few of the landowners were there and uh, everybody's, uh, you know, it seems like in favor of, you know, proceeding with it, uh, kind of the pulse of, you know, we received out there. So um, I guess we'll go ahead and if we get the resolution. Mark, you want to talk about it a little bit? Or? Yeah, <clears throat> so I don't know, just to make people, maybe I can just take a couple minutes to explain the process. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I know as far as, I'm the Marcus Zimmerman, the county engineer. Uh, as far as alley vacations, roadway vacations go, I know uh, it is something we deal with often, but it is not necessarily something that the general public deals with often. So maybe just to explain the process, uh, the, there are uh, countless numbers of hamlets and villages and subdivisions throughout Seneca County that were platted in the mid to early 1800s. At this time, no one had any idea where homes were going to be built, what size homes. And so alleys were platted in these subdivisions, roadways were platted, uh, and largely these roadways and alleys are just grass. All right, they were never developed, they were never used. And law, Ohio law, allows landowners to ask the county commissioners to vacate those lands to basically take those lands from county custody and turn them back over to private private owners. Uh, so about maybe two years ago, maybe longer, yeah. uh, it was asked of the county commissioners to uh, vacate a section of an alley in the hamlet of Caroline, uh, south of Attica in Venice Township. Um, throughout the process, sometimes it takes longer. Um, but uh, the landowners are required to get a uh, minimum of a trip 12 freeholders and 12 people that are interested in the project uh, to sign and present that petition to the county commissioners to vacate or to turn over those lands back to the private back to private landowners so that process has been done Ohio law requires that the, the that the commissioners view put their physical eyeballs on the project which we did this morning uh, and that it requires them to have a legal hearing. And that is where we are today. And at this legal hearing is where landowners have the opportunity to, to, to voice their affirmation that they want this land to be vacated or to speak against it and say that they don't want this alley to be vacated. 
Uh, so people and, and, and everyone has the right to come and speak and that is why they have legal hearings and hearings happen for multitudes of things. This one is specific to vacating the alley that we are talking about. Um, so what will happen is the, the commissioners or, or uh, the administrator will ask any landowners if they want to come forward and speak. Um, I assume they're going to ask you to speak your name for the record. Uh, and, and it is your opportunity to interact with government, to interact with your county commissioners, to tell them, yes, we want this to happen, or no, we don't want this to happen. And either way, that is why we are here today. So please speak freely, speak honestly. What the board decides today will determine whether or not this land is going to get turned over to private ownership or not. Um, so if you have, you know, if you want this to happen, tell them you want it to happen engage with your county commissioners. Um, so I don't know if you have any questions about process. I'm really not involved, I'm not a county commissioner. It's their decision to make it happen, but I do this a lot and deal with landowners a lot and I just wanna make you aware, maybe just a little bit of education about the process. Uh, process is important, interaction with government's important. So if you have any questions about process, I can, if, if you don't mind, don't worry, I can yeah, answer I'm those. Yep. About how it happens, they make the determination of what happens. So. Would any of you like to come forward and speak? I would. Come on up and uh, if we can get your uh, name and address or come on up and... My name is Larry Messer. I live in between both them houses where the easement is. The other way. I don't want to close because I can't get back behind my property. <clears throat> you guys are out there, you've seen the pads, you've seen the garage door in the back of my shop. How am I going to get back there? You know, there's, just, I, there's no way for me to get around it. So I'm landlocked on each side. You see all that? Yeah. yeah. So you're you're saying you don't? I guess I'm confused. Your statement you don't want it. I don't want it closed. Because if it's going to be closed, how am I going to get back there? I guess I got the map on that. Yeah, I have. I have the big. You got the big. I have the big one. Okay. Yeah, because that's what. Uh, Mark, right now it's county owned. Uh, well, technically, the land is owned by the townships. This is his by the Okay, but there is no road there now. There's no road there now, right? Right. So if, so if if it gets vacated, he will not have any access to get to the back side of that. Property. You could just because <clears throat> it is right behind your place there, though you would have. Do you have a, a door that goes out to the alley? Yeah. Yep. Back side of your barn. Okay. Yeah, you guys are out there today. Can you see it? Right. Hey. Yeah. yeah it's just cool. So yeah, we <coughs> I guess did look specifically at that spot right there. That, uh, uh, <coughs> yeah. It, I mean, if if I may. Yeah. Go ahead. I mean, okay. and and whether well, the determination happens today or later. <coughs> um, Technically, a, a, a roadway, which is we, what we have there, is different than a road. Right. Okay, a roadway is not access. There are these going out through fields everywhere. People can't drive down an access. They need to drive down a road or an alley, but it has to be improved. All right, so it would take away his ability to someday have the trustees build an alley there that he could use. But the grass way there now is not a road. It is not usable by the general public. Do you use the grass way now? Uh, I did uh, last weekend for my father and stuff like that because he's in a wheelchair, so I pulled him back to the pad and get him out. So basically, if I understood, so you went through either like Keith Stevens or else uh, Dagos to get yeah. back to that town? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I bought the place, they told me there was an alley back there I could. Right. Go back there. I mean, when it's wet, I don't drive to it. I don't tear it up. When you guys are out there, you see nothing tore up. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have mine. Yeah. But if, I think the engineer Zimmer is saying again, can you reiterate that again, Mark, about the access? Yeah, so, it, it, and just aware of what the situation is. So the land is not landlocked. All right. You're, you have frontage on the road. Yes. Okay. So this is not a, an issue of being landlocked. It's an issue of access to the garage door on the back of this house, <clears throat> all right? Now, if there were an existing paved or stone alley down through there, 
That constitutes something that the trustees maintain. All right, it's on a maintenance schedule that they do something with it. That it is an actual alley. There has to be a physical part to the to the road mm -hmm. as opposed to the roadway. Okay, um, which doesn't exist today, nor that I know that it ever has. I, there may have been an alley. I don't know that it, there had ever actually been a physical alley back there. There, there may have been, um, but. So the access to that alleyway is not the same as access to an alley, if that makes sense. Sure. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Any comment? Anyone else from the general public want to speak on the vacation? Yeah, I'm Edna Beamer, and I live in the, in the neighborhood. I live across the street from Larry, Diego, and Keith. And there's been a war ever since whatever, for some reason, between the three. Larry gets along with me fine. I don't have any problem with him. It's Diego or Keith. He's always nit nitpicking and bugging. But I do know the people that owned it prior to Larry, and he applied to uh, Matt and Missy asked, at that time, Jeannie and Freddie Michaels owned the property to the south where Diego is. All they asked was enough footage that they could make a drive back. And she said no. And then they asked Donna Whiteman who owned the property where Keith was. And she said no. And everybody's asked them to sell him just a strip of property that would make it so he could get back and forth from the highway to the back of his property. I feel he has the right to it. And if they don't, if they want the daggone alleyway or whatever the hell it's called, it we used to be stoned years ago because they, because it was a strawberry farm right there, and they used to drive up and down that with their trucks and, and pick strawberries. So I know the alleyway existed. So I don't know what kind of BS is being happening here, but it's not right to Larry. He has a right to get to the back of his property. If they want to be willing to sell him at least 20 feet wide strip that he could drive back and forth, that would be fine. But if they're going to be bullheaded about this, then no, it's not right. Leave the doggone alley way open. Tell the township to go in and stone it like they used to years ago. And I do mean years ago. So I mean, there's, there's something dirty going on here and I'm sorry. It's Pre just not right. Appreciate you speaking up. Thank you. Have we heard from the trustees, Mark? Or did they input on anything? I have not. Is the party that wants the alley vacation here? Uh, yes. Yeah. Would you like to speak yeah. on why or? Yeah. Yeah, my name is Diego Sandino and Catalina Sandino, my wife, both of us own that uh, property. And yeah, I'm here to affirm that, yes, we want that a little bit back hands. Yeah, I think uh, I'm not agree with my neighbor that he said that we have a war. I have not fighting anything with my neighbor. I never have anything with Larry. I'm not fighting with him anymore. Uh, so any, 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 any days. The only thing that we just discussed a little bit of things, but I don't have Nothing and no worry and no, no war at all. I don't know where she come from that uh, war against him. I don't know if he has something with the other neighbor downside, but for, for me, I speak on my behalf. I have no problem at all. I'm doing everything legally. I want that vacay to be, that I need to be vacay. And also, he had the road where he can go, where he can go out and in, in. He built a garage down there. I don't know, but he had. The, the 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 garage the door he can go back and forth the back right here there is no road to go from our property in the alley there is no road that he can go back and and that he you know he built a garage down there the road in the back but he have the road where he can come in and go out I think if that's his uh, you know his legal do you have a good reason of why you want it vacated. The, the reason? Hey, do you have a good reason? Well, we have taken care for 17 years that place, that alley, plus the owner who who sold the property, she had she had been there for more than 50 years and she had been taking care of, of that, you know? And, and we don't want problems where driving and here and there, you know? And, and when there is no road, you know, we don't have to, I mean, that's the reason that why we went to close, you know, 
to be vacated. Well, yeah. Thank you. So, Larry, I guess the question I have is, so where your building is, <clears throat> how far off from the alley is your building for the access behind it? I, I assume <clears throat> Venice is zone, and you probably have to, you say so far off right away or stuff with that, so. Maybe. I don't know what that number is, but yeah. I, I couldn't tell you without going out there measuring it. Sure. Mark, do you have a sort of professional opinion as what, what, like, what, give a recommendation? I mean, as far as a recommendation goes, it certainly would take Mr. Messer and it would be more convenient. Um, he would obtain uh, half of the alley um, that is there now would become his property. Uh, and I do not know if there is access to get to the back side of the garage from his property on the, on the front side. Um, I do know that, I, mean, I, I just don't know. Um, no. Yeah, so there would be at least eight and a half feet. Right. Um, but uh, uh, the, the, but without having a uh, physical alley there, people don't have a right to use it anyhow. They're, just because it's platted doesn't give someone the right to go use it. It has to be improved. Mm -hmm. And it is not improved. If the township decided to improve it, <clears throat> different story. Have you reached out to the township, sir? No, I have not. I honestly don't feel comfortable making a decision this day. I don't know if we table it and wait till Tony gets back. I just, I'd, I'd kind of like yeah. to dig in and do a little more research personally. Well, I think giving back what Mark's saying, though, is basically with that, it, it's not really a, a, an accessible alleyway. So with vacating it, so he great. will have another, because w when you do, you know, for example, my experience of being a township trustee is when you build, a lot of our zoning is at least 10 feet off the right of way. So basically there should be at least, theoretically, depends on what the zoning is in Venice, yeah. it would be 18 and a half feet, mm -hmm. should be off the, the alley, which would give them access to, to get back here and stuff anyway. So um, yeah, that's, I guess, knowing that, 18 and a half feet off the back of this garage. Well, I'm just saying theoretically, if it's the same as what Adams Township is, we're saying we, you know, it's 10 feet off the, the right of way. So if you got a 16 and a half foot right of way, you do half, so eight feet or whatever, and then, you know, should be it's 10 feet or whatever off of that yet. So he would have access to get to the back of that anyway with that. So, uh, yeah, I think that's yeah. There's I no can way, though. I mean, I'm landlocked on both sides. I don't have no property drive right through there. I can reach out to the trustees and see. If, I mean, I have not heard any. I didn't know if you had gotten any comments from them. Um, we have very um, so I can see where they stand on it. Okay, I'd like I mean, to see them weigh in. You certainly okay. don't need to make a decision today. No, I mean, right, for right. sure. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, we. Yeah, love, yeah. If you want to do that and kind of reconvene, um, we table it for now, Barb. Or yeah. Okay. That, that's fine and um, so basically what will happen is I believe we have to do another um, hearing yeah. to mm -hmm. to approve or deny the vacation sure and we can yeah. set that at a, at a later date yeah. to you can just table this one okay and mm -hmm. continue the hearing later you don't have to have a new hearing <laughs> okay very good I, mean, I want to check I mean that's what I, I'm not aware right but exactly but in the past, motion at table. Just to, yeah, just <laughs> continue the hearing later. Sure. You have I'll to do new everything. So, Commissioner Franker. Yes. Commissioner Schaff. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you both parties for Thank being you. here and Come explaining in. your Very portion. Well. We're gonna do some more homework on it before we make a decision. Just wanna make sure we have a better understanding and uh, a little more depth on it. So thank you for being here and expressing your uh, feelings. And you will be notified when the next hearing will be set. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Welcome to stay. You're also welcome to uh, enjoy the rest of your day too, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, that wraps it up here for the public hearing at 10.30. We're done with resolutions and new business. Um, Anything left is public comment. Yep. 
Is there anyone from the attending audience today that would like to speak? Um, give updates? The floor is yours. Tom. Tom, go ahead, Tom. I just got a question for Bill. Yeah. Uh, with your meeting in Columbus on the landfill. Yeah. How do you feel that it's gone? So that's why, uh, uh, so basically they're working on the bill right now. So right now they're doing all the changes stuff with that. So so initially when, when Tony, we went down for the opponent, for, excuse me, for the proponent was the first hearing, they have to have three hearings on it. So for the gather, we did a proponent and then Tuesday was kind of the opponent and proponent at that time too. So then once that third hearing's done, they're working on, you know, to, uh, change and stuff throughout the bill and then they'll come to a final uh, vote through the budget is what they're going to try to work it into on the set aside. So <clears throat> again being down here Tuesday that's where you get uh, everybody that's supposed to feed rates and changing and stuff with that hear that and then like I say it was uh, uh, significant both sides are there so it's uh work in progress and uh yeah as, as we start moving forward with that or they the senate thank you so thank you. Yep. stay tuned anyone else from the attending public that'd like to speak Hello. yes um jessica from osu extension i just came to give an update um for h has been very busy obviously they're doing their Counselor trainings right now at the camp. Um, we that camp will be in a couple weeks. And then also, um, you guys met Presley. I believe she was here last week. Yep. So she's new and she's very, very busy. Um, she's she's always busy. Um, she's working at the farmer's markets as well. I believe she's gonna go once a month and do um, like talks and stuff. She's been trying to recruit some different people to come do some talks. Um, Snap Ed has been busy as well. Um, this is kind of our slow season, but we're trying to do um, a class called Cooking Matters right now. So this is for our qualified demographic, people who qualify for SNAP benefits, WIC benefits, that kind of thing. Um, it is a free class, it is six weeks long. Um, it teaches them, like we do a nutrition portion and then we also do a cooking portion where they do the cooking. And then at the end of the class, they get to take groceries home with them and then prepare the meal at home as well. So we're trying to do one in Fostoria where we use the High Street um, United Methodist Church. And then we're trying to do one in Tiffin where we'll use the community kitchen. Um, so we're trying to get enough participants for that. Right now we're kind of low. So I don't know if we're gonna end up combining them and doing one location or if uh, we don't have enough altogether and they have to scrap it and try again at a later time when we can get more participants. But um, we did post that on our website. So if you guys, I don't know if you guys follow OSU Extension, if you could share that. Uh, we'd like to have enough participants by Monday because we're trying to start next week. So um, share that if you will. Yes. Um, Thank you, I think that's it for our update. <laughs> Thank Thanks for the update. Yeah. Anything from Jeff? So? Oh, I'm sorry, go, go ahead. Say, I just want to introduce myself as the new TA at the ODOT garage. So any type of state work for maintenance. So typically they've always come and give us an update yes. what all is happening in Seneca yeah. County. We would love to have that uh, put together sometime here in the near future so we know what's kind of going on, you know, mm -hmm. projects you guys are working on and uh, with that. And uh, so yeah, that'd be fantastic if we can put that together for us. So. Welcome. And what's your name again? So April. 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 April who? No. No. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? We? Anything? No. I'm just uh, here learning, taking it all in. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Glad to have you. Adam. Adam. Anything from TSA? Nothing from TSA today. Don't don't go in our office today. Uh, the air air. Oh, okay. we had that last we had that, we got that earlier this week. Earlier so. this week was there a downtown meeting this morning? There was. They got, it got moved to Zoom. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good call. Yeah, yeah. So it was Jimmy pretty warm up there yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah so it, it only got worse. We kissed eighty and went. Mm, no, don't think so. Right. <laughs> Jimmy, is there anybody online that expressed uh, wanting to uh, join yeah, in for I public went comment? I ahead and put a message in the chat to see if anybody would like to come forward. I would just ask that if you would like to speak during public comment, you just put a message in the chat there and I'll unmute your line. Just give it a second here. Kayla, anything new with the appetizer? No. <laughs> I think we're good. Okay. All right, well, uh, there's no further public comment, no other comment here from uh, the administration, the commissioners.
Call the meeting adjourned at 1054.